Hello, it's Steve Morgan. I uh, was diagnosed with blood pressure 15 years ago. I've learnt to live with blood pressure and I've learnt to manage blood pressure. Uh, as I say in all the videos, there's a URL running along the bottom of this video. Uh, follow that link and find out more information about the best way that we feel that you can manage your blood pressure and you can manage it and deal with it naturally. Now, in our introductory videos, we've really spoken a lot about what are the factors that, that come up to and, 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 and make, uh, in many ways, possibly go to make up the reason that we've got blood pressure. And, and the thing is that there's so many things that blood pressure, um, in a positive way, can actually <clears throat> excuse me, affect the way you live. I mean, blood pressure affects the way we cope with the stress of daily living. It, ex it it affects our social and emotional life. You know, if you've got high blood pressure and you're irascible, you're threatening to go out and rip the heads off babies. You know, I know I, I do. You know, I know you used to uh, if I wasn't careful. You know, blood pressure, it affects your home and family life. It affects your personality type. It affects your exercise habits. Uh, sometimes, you know, you don't feel because you're too tired. It's a side effect of high blood pressure. You're too tired. You don't want to take any exercise. That's the time when you've got to. It affects your weight because sometimes you don't necessarily feel that good about yourself. So you just suddenly you eat more. It certainly affects your ability to relax. It affects your sleep patterns. If you're suffering from that's one of the side effects of high blood pressure. Uh, you know, you, you tend to feel irascible. You don't sleep well. Uh, a good sleep pattern is a great panacea to, great natural panacea to high blood pressure. You know, are your vitamin and mineral intake, your diet, you know, you have a crap diet. Chances are it's going to, you know, not affect your blood pressure in a positive way. You know, clean your act up. And, and sort yourself out. You don't have to go on a mega diet. Just be sensible about some of the things you eat. You know, it's a start. So they say, you know, success is a cinch by the inch by the yard. It's hard. You know, don't try and go for a mega diet on day one. Just try and alter a little bit, slowly but surely. You'll get there in the end, you know. Also, the other thing about blood pressure is caused by, you know, the human's tendency to use and misuse addictive substances, you know, <laughs> alcohol, caffeine, drugs, cigarettes, that sort of thing. None of them are that great when it comes to, to getting high blood pressure. It really is. But more importantly, the most important thing that you can look at, I think the two things in terms of your diet and your lifestyle, you know, food and beverages. If you spend all your time eating fast food, pizza and Big Macs, mm -mm, yeah, sooner or later, you know, somebody's going to come knocking on the door and just say, there you go, could be a problem there. You know, you're just adding things up for, for storage in later life. The other thing is, as I said, lifestyle is about exercise, it's about being positive. As I said earlier on, please click on the link in the bottom of this video. Uh, it's probably not an active link, but follow the URL, cut and paste it, type it out. Come and join us at controlyourbloodpressure.com. Come and learn how to manage blood pressure, how to control your blood pressure, but how to do it all naturally. So as I said earlier, hi, I'm Steve Morgan. I have high blood pressure, I've learnt to live with blood pressure, and I've learnt to manage my blood pressure. Speak to you soon. Bye-bye.